In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So, the secretary at St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church, Chuck Crimmins, his family lives in a, from what I understand, a, a dwelling that supplied by the church and I've never seen the address of this place and I don't even know if parishioners know that this is part of the nonprofit. I've never seen an expense report for this place where is it but also I don't really see a lot of them talking about the expenses for the convent either and I noticed they did change the name of the convent a couple years ago but all that would need to be disclosed on the nonprofit all of their assets all of their property addresses and who resides there and like I said an audit what is uh, Mr. Crimmins receiving in exchange for his uh, secretarial services and would that compromise his faith because I know that when I talk to Mr. Crimmins on the phone he was most of the part very uh, sincere but then he said once that you can trust the Vatican with all your personal information. Now, I, I question that because um, he wants people to register, and I told him I wasn't going to do it because I didn't tell him why. Well, I told him a couple reasons uh, why, but uh, one of the great greatest reasons why is we should we have the bat mark of baptism on our forehead and we should not have to register and give people we don't know and don't trust all of our personal information that includes father flick father gordon um we didn't we didn't ask we didn't ask the church to ordain them okay so we can't trust them and i would have never allowed it if i'd been in that town i would have written against it and I'm sure hopefully you would have as well because they don't help the poor and they're very selfish and self-centered men like I said metrosexual the feminine types like like the drink I think father flick likes the drink a little too much but uh, anyway so if you're receiving a bribe or if you're living somewhere where you work then it's gonna compromise for the most part except if you're Cardinal Burke you know, or Archbishop Vigano or Bishop Strickland, I think has been compromised a bit, but he's going to get stronger. We're going to see a change in him. But uh, um, it's going to compromise your faith. And he wasn't willing to stand up against, Mr. Crimmins wasn't willing to stand up against the evils in the Vatican, telling me over the phone that they were, bad is good. When you say good is bad and bad is good, it shows to me that he has lost all sense of morality, and so has his superiors, and they're probably blackmailing him in some way he feels like he has to do whatever they say like wrapped around their finger otherwise he'll lose his home and that's exactly what they know priests like this are smart and they can kind of figure things out pretty fast so uh, they know that they got him wrapped around their finger and he's basically the, a puppet for them and I'm asking that um, you know an audit there needs to be an audit for all the expenses and every single last penny 